The thing about fall colors in Muskoka is you never know exactly which weeks they're going to fall on, and those weeks are usually fraught with bad weather. But pushing on, we came up here again this year to shoot cars, and we're using our faithful town and country to get it done. Now, there's an argument around as to who the best car guy in the world is. I think it's Lee Iacocca, father of the pony car and muscle car with the Mustang, reinventing Lincoln with not much more than a revamped Thunderbird, put a couple billion on the bottom line for that, and then this idea when he moved to Chrysler, the minivan. Thing is, in 1984, the rules about safety for a minivan were exactly the same as those for a truck. So it fit in your garage and you could put the seven kids in it, but they were riding around in what amounts to be one of the most unsafe vehicles on the road in 1984. Some people called Iacocca a schnook for that. Shareholders love the amount of money it made and is still making for the company. So the thing is, I got to thinking what is the best minivan ever built? And I asked the guys what they thought as well. My contention is the Chrysler minivan topped off by the town and country. After all, town and country has been used for the top of the line wagon for Chrysler since the late 40s. And wait till you see what this one can do. Chrysler's on a death's door, almost bankrupt. They bring in Iacocca. He's been the hero of the automotive market for years. He saved Ford with the pony car when he invented that. What's he do at Chrysler? He invents the minivan. This thing's a game changer. Seven seats, pretty basic utilitarian piece when they first came out. We're driving the latest version of it, the 2012 Town & Country. Every conceivable power option group you could ever imagine. It's even got a convex mirror up here for spying on your kids, if that's your thing. Now have a look at this 2011 town and country, and you find that it's, it's quite nicely equipped. I mean, the interior's rather impressive. It's actually been made over for 2011. The dials look more upmarket, and the switch gear's just a little bit more solid than before. There's also a new engine under the hood, a 263 horsepower Pentastar 3.6 litre V6 engine. And from what we can gauge, it's actually got a decent amount of pickup. I mean, I'm putting the foot to the floor and we're doing about 110 kilometers an hour, so that's about 70 miles an hour with no effort whatsoever. Since 1984, when this vehicle first came out, there's been multiple advances in safety of this vehicle. We've got blind spot avoidance, we've got backup cameras built into the vehicle, multiple airbags in it, so if your wife's a terrible driver, hopefully this thing will keep her alive when she does pile it up and at the best, at least the backup camera, she's got no excuse for backing over your garbage cans when she's leaving the driveway late for soccer practice. And it's a vehicle that's got an interesting array of options. For example, you've got all this uh, luxury type aspects such as the clock and the nicely laid out instruments and everything else, but you've also got things like a push button start on the dash. So basically all you have to do is make sure the key's in the car, push this button, and it starts just like a racing car. Normally I tear into vehicles like this because all I want to do is drive fast cars when I'm working for the show. But hey, every once in a while you got to be a realist. And you know what? Appreciate a vehicle for what it is. This thing, for what it's designed for, does everything well. Just don't expect your neighbors to be going wow when you pull into the driveway. Your neighbors are going to be more thinking, they paid 52 grand for that? Did they win the lottery? Are you new? But on the other hand as well, it's very, very practical. The one thing that makes Chrysler minivans stand out, including the town and country, is of course the stow and go seating, which means the second and the third row seats fold flat into the floor, creating a full cargo space, if you like. Now, of course, this being the top of the line offering, in addition to that, the rear seats are powered too. So all you have to do is press a button, they fold right into the floor. The same applies to both doors on the left and right side and also the rear tailgate. Now, it's all fine and dandy when this thing's brand new, but once it's, say, 10 years old, do you think these things will still be working? Well, I'm not so sure about that. you got to ask yourself, is this thing worth $52,000? Well, maybe it is and it isn't. There's been so much refinement and so many generations of this vehicle built now that I think Chrysler is making the best one on the market, and we've driven quite a few of them here in our drive. Kind of hard to rave about a minivan. I'd much rather rave about something 
from the Chrysler line that says SRT on it. If they ever put SRT on a minivan, get me a gun because I will shoot myself. In terms of ride quality, this thing's really quite pleasant to drive. I can sit back here in my captain's chair and just basically relax.